In this video, we solve problem 6.1.10-T from Essentials of Statistics, 6th edition by Mario Triola. We're asked to find the area of the shaded region, and we're told that the graph depicts the standard normal distribution of bone density scores that has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. So the shaded area is an area to the right of a z-score, and it's a negative z-score, rather than being to the left. So our tables only um, contain areas to the left, so we're going to have to use the fact that the total area under this curve is 1 in order to find the area to the right. I'm going to sh show you my work on this piece of paper, and then we'll look at the table of z-scores on the computer, and then we'll use that to find the answer. Okay, so we're interested in this area here, this blue area. And that's the probability that that particular z-score, or more that the z-score is greater than that particular z-score of negative uh, 1.04. So we're saying, well, what's the probability that uh, z is more than 1.04 standard deviations below the mean? In order to find this area, I need to find the area to the left instead because our table only contains areas to the left. Now I know once I look this up in a table, this area is going to be one minus the area to the left. So if I ever need area to the right, I always write it as one minus the corresponding area to the left. So the probability that Z is greater than this number is one minus the probability that Z is less than that number. And this is something that I can look up in my table. And once I find that, I can subtract it from one and that's going to be that blue area. So let's look at our table. Now the z-score that um, is listed here is z equals negative 1.04. So I need the negative z-scores, so we're here. And I need the um, first two numbers here to be negative 1.0. So we go down, scroll down until you get to this negative 1.0. And then the um, next digit is four. So we have negative 1.04. This is negative 1.00, negative 1.01, two, three, and four. So negative 1.04 is right here. So that's a probability of 0 0.1492. Now remember, that is probability um, or area to the left. So this area is 0 0.1492. Keep that in mind. Now let's go back to our homework assignment. Actually, before we do that, let's go back to the paper. Oops. So this area is 0 0.1492. And so we want, and we want the area to the right, not the area to the left. This, the table always contains the areas to the left of those z-scores. So we have to do one minus 0 0.1492 in order to find the area to the right. So we will subtract, easy breezy, and you get uh, 0 0.8508, and that's our area. Now remember, areas, probabilities, and percentages, they're all the same when we're talking about standard normal distributions. So what we're saying is, if this standard normal distribution represents bone density scores, which happen to be uh, normally distributed with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one, what we're saying is that um, this z-score of negative 0 0.01, or negative 0 point, or 1.04, excuse me, um, that z-score uh, is the same as a bone density score, 
for saying that the probability of having a bone density score that is greater than negative zero or negative 1.04 is this 0 0.8508, or you have an 85.08% chance of having a bone density score that is greater than that particular score. So let's go back to my lab statistics, make sure we're on the right track. So I want 0 0.8508, oops. Now this mistake that most or many students make here is that they enter the probability on the left rather than the probability on the right. Remember the probability on the left is what you'll find in the table. If you want the probability on the right, you have to find the complement. Um, you have to do one minus that probability on the left. And they like it, so we know we did that correctly. <laughs>